So let's talk about your training, Ben. Um, I want to understand what your training looks like now com- compared to maybe what you previously did with the sprint training and the 400 metres. But I also want to understand how it differs to other events. And you may not have done much, probably barely any, you know, like sort of 1500 metre and long, long distance work. But being from Loughborough University, you would have been in and around distance runners. So how does your training regime differ slightly maybe from other events? Um, it's funny you say that because I say I train more like a 15 guy, okay. especially in the winter because I've had the background of the sprint. So I have got that natural speed. So I need to work on getting to 600 and then being able to kick. I know I've always got that kick. It's just how fatigued I'll be at 600 really. Um, but yeah, my, my standard training week sort of Monday, Wednesday, easy runs, Tuesday will either be a track or a grass. Thursday, tempos is something I've got into since coming to Loughborough. I didn't have a clue what they were or how they worked before that. So I feel like they're very beneficial to me. And then Saturday again will be grass or track. And then Sunday, long run, normally about an hour. Um, And I try to gym three times a week in the winter. And then top that all up with a bit of cross training whether that's elliptical on the bike I I do a bit of rowing as well um swimming I'd like to I I, I think it's very good for you but I struggle to fit it in so I think this winter that's something I want to get into a bit more of and in terms of um the key aspects that you're focusing on to improve your performance in the A100 that that would have been a, probably would have been a different answer as you've gone through the years. But now looking at where you are in the sport, you're world class. You know you're looking to medal at major championships now. What are you and your coach working on within your event to to improve on? I think it's just sort of the kiss, consistency. I used to be maybe three four years ago. I used to be a very bad trainer. I used to not be able to run anywhere near the like the times I would. I should have been running so I remember the week before I ran a 146 which was a two second PB I did like I was the session was 600 400 300 200 and I did the six in like 126 and then I ran like a 56 400 and then my coach had to pull me out I was flat out and then a week later, I go and run 146, which just doesn't add up. That doesn't make sense. No, it is. I met, my coach was just like, I don't know how you've done that off, off how you've been training. But I think I think the, the main thing that I'm looking to improve in is the consistency week in, week out, getting the sessions to slowly improve rather than one session being really good, the next session being bad. Obviously, you need to have those sessions where things don't go right where you do struggle because if not you're not pushing yourself enough so I think that's definitely the key to to running is having having months on end of consistent training in terms of consistent training Ben now that you're a professional athlete your lifestyle you know might have slightly changed or or maybe not but you're professional athlete now so your job is to to run as fast as possible when you toe the line but what are the challenges that you face that stop you from being consistent in your life is it injuries is it illness is it the mental side of things what is it what are those roadblocks that you have to try and get around yeah so this year I had my first injury which kept me out for like four months of winter I hadn't done my first proper run until January um, which is something I think I've struggled quite quite a bit with mentally just because I'm I've been going into races I'm in I've been no matter what my training's been saying, I've been running quicker times in training. But then in the back of my head, I'm always like, oh, I've missed all that work. Like I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be winning these races. So it's it's kind of weird on the start line. I've been almost a bit negative, just sort of thinking, oh, is this the race where I'm going to get exposed? But I think I've I've worked through that quite well this year. Now that obviously I've ran a PB, I've qualified for worlds. I, it's managed to convince myself that I have actually put in the work to be where I'm at. 